Hey guys, well I am here with India again. She has agreed to make a video with me again and this time we want to talk through some of our favorite products, um, not necessarily um, just for tween girls but that tween girls might enjoy. Um, these are products that are STEM related, science related, or art related. I do want to make a little caveat that um, India is wearing some makeup. This is not her usual daytime look. Why are you wearing makeup today? Because I was just with my friend and we gave each other makeovers. Yeah, which, and I thought you did a very nice, subtle job. Thank you. Just very nice. Um, anyway, let's go through some of these things that we've got. So why don't you talk about um, the Creation Crate. So this is a subscription box that you can get once a month. And it is all about um, it's all about STEM and coding. Um, Creation Crate, the one that that we have been working on, is a mood lamp. So it is a box that comes with everything you need, instructions. Um, which, hold that up to the camera, India. I haven't really done anything. Well, I know you've been. You, we have. It was rather confusing. It's. It's. I will say this one is difficult. This that one. She. She got rainbow wires. That's not fair. I got. Um. Fine. Hold it up. So this one comes with instructions and. It and is, you program it. And you program it. So in addition to building the hardware of this little mood lamp that it will eventually be. Um, they use Arduino program to program it. So it is a really complex. Um, and time-consuming and interesting um, science and it's project. It's really complicated. It's hard. It's it's probably I, more. I can do it. Yeah, India's ten, and I would say, and we we're having an older friend help her with it. But I would say it's probably uh, middle to high school level. All right, let's talk about um, the Nancy B stuff. So you started. Why don't you talk about the experiment you started okay. with the Nancy B science kit? So. This is a hydroponics kit. Hydroponics. <laughs> Which means growing things in water. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, <laughs> and so show them what you've started with your with I your got kit. some cucumber lemons. Okay. So the first thing we had to do was we, we put the seeds. Germinated it. And germinated them. And, and this then, one is very sad. Well, yeah. So why don't you explain your findings? What did you? What was the difference between these two? When I put them on my bookshelf, this one was in front of that one, so this one wasn't getting enough light. Mm -hmm. so, so this one got a little puny. Yeah. And then this one is like doing really well. But we're gonna try to get this one's LeBron James. This one's Will Ferrell. <laughs> we're gonna try to bring this one back to life. But that is from. Um, a science kit called Can I go get the box? Nancy Bees. Well, no, because I have another box. They have all kinds of science kits. And I will say they are marketed. I'm sorry that the words are backwards. Um, these are marketed for girls. I can turn it um, and Nancy Bees science kit, um, right now, they are on sale for almost half off on Amazon. What? Um, yeah, I just went to go put the link in and noticed that they're like $14 per kit. So this one's a, a microbes lab. And then they've got um, sure. plant stuff. They've got all kinds of stuff. Um, also on the science tip um, is another fun monthly subscription box. And this is the um, Little Passports Science Expeditions. If you're not familiar, Little Passports also does a subscription service once a month for younger kids about different countries. Yeah. Um, but this we one, that one, yeah, which are super fun. This one um, has a different theme every month. So one is caves and crystals. And that comes with the materials to make like a cave yourself. And then another one, is, we haven't done these ones yet. Another one is a forensic science, science kit. And this one comes with all um, the stuff that you need to kind of like um, swab the DNA and look at microbes. And a sticker! <laughs> And a journal. So um, again, those are monthly subscription boxes for sciencey stuff. Um, that's little passports. Another fun, a fun one um, that's also available on Amazon. If if your kids are into gardening and or you know you want them to learn a little bit more, <coughs> is this company called Back to the Roots. And so they've got all kinds of growing kits, and you grow them right in the thing that they came in. So you can grow. Um, dill, basil, all kinds of herbs from these cans, and I will say these cans, um, if you're an Amazon subscriber, these are an add-on item, and they're 
which I think is a great price because you know it's fun for kids to get these started and then it's actually practical like you can keep them in your kitchen and actually use the herbs to cook so that's the garden in a can and this one is cherry tomatoes yes which I enjoy very much. Do you like cherry tomatoes? I tried it once and they're so gross. They're yeah, like sour. Well, you don't really love um, vegetables. I like All right. Animate. Should we talk about the slime next or the art? The art. Okay, the art. So she just got um, this super cute kit from Target and it is from their handmade modern line, but now they have kid made that. modern. Um, here, let's hold it up a little bit. Look at this cute little kit. It comes in. It's got all kinds of art supplies, so super fun, um, kind of a all-in-one art kit Take this for, um, for kids. And she's been using this quite a bit this summer. <laughs> and then, like every day, I know the fun book she has been using it with is this um, A to Z hand lettering book, and she has been making all kinds of kind of sayings and stuff and posters and posters and in fact she just gave one to a friend but this has all kinds of hand lettering um, and I'm sorry this is backwards on the video but all kinds of hand lettering stuff in it so she has spent a lot of time this is a, a nice boredom buster um, she spent a lot of time practicing her handwriting um, okay the biggest boredom buster I have to yes. say at our house this summer it. has been <gasps> slime yeah! slime so much slime, slime in my house I didn't choose the slime life but the slime life chose me oh, I like how I just have my dirty laundry in on this sofa it's actually clean my clean towels laying Yay! on the sofa in the background because that's how much preparation I put into these videos okay so slime I don't this know only... do I even need to explain this is this just like every single kid is into this right now but you can order this the industrial strength glue on Amazon. And then you use. Um, she tends to mix it with Tide, although I've heard that you can also use the glue plus borax, borax or, saline. Uh, or saline. So or there's different Stoplo activators. There's, I don't even know. I mean, she has really researched this all her own. But these are a few of her creations. There's like. And she, I have like a million She more. basically, like, anything around the house that is used up, like, this was my scrub, this was the boy's um, <laughs> yeah. any hair container. product. So once any, any container that has been empty in the house is at risk of being filled with slime. It looks like a purple is maybe your favorite. Yeah. Since and it's all the easiest of them to make. Are, oh, is it? Is yeah. it because the tide is blue already? Is that why? Uh -huh. And then she will add glitter glue so it's glittery. Um, yeah, but I she will has say a thing against glitter. Well, I, I don't love glitter, but I will I say, as it. much as I whine about the slime thing, it has, um, it has really occupied your time. You've spent a lot of time doing it, and I feel like you know she's learning a little bit. Um, we have, hey, we have an amazing mat um, that we make the slime on. It's a silicone mat, and I'll have to pop a link to that. Um, for you guys to see because it's very helpful for keeping the slime off of surfaces because you don't want these things um, on your wood dining table or really anywhere. So I'll show them the green thing. Oh, you want to go grab the silicone mat? Yeah. We'll show you what she makes the slime on. So, um, and it's a, a nice non-stick surface, um, so that is super helpful. So she's gonna go grab that mat. But yeah, man, the slime thing. But I do. I will say it's been nice to watch her. Um, it's been nice to watch her sort of research. Hey guys, research and figure all of this out. All right, our house just got very full of people. Um, hello, this is the silicone mat, and use it I for we use it for everything. And I can't remember the name of it, so I'm just going to link it up in the comments here in a minute. It's actually it actually came with um, a kinetic sand kit. Oh, is that right? It was a lid for oh, I think it. You're right. This was our kinetic sand. Anyway. Um, it's got a nice little lip, so if they're doing watercolors or any kind of painting, um, yeah, so we, we kind of, this is like, get, you know, I'm always telling them, go get the green mat. Not on the table, on the green mat. So anyway, Wait. those are some of our favorites. Um, if you've got other fun favorites um, in terms of science or art that are keeping your kids occupied this summer, link them up in the comments.
talk to you guys Bye. later.